Hi everyone, yeah, welcome back to the job site here. Made a lot of progress in these last few videos as you saw. Uh, got this whole house put up here, got everything framed up. Uh, a couple days ago, we were back here, we put this uh, roof rafters on. We didn't have a lot of time to do that, so I just went ahead, we got that put up. Didn't film much of that because it's just rafters, just cut and repeat. Uh, so that's pretty easy there. But like you see here, the room behind us is uh, empty. So we got to go ahead, get some inside walls framed up in here, and get this second floor finally done. Because once we do that, then we can go ahead, move on to the sides here, get that covered in, go to the roof, get that covered up, and then uh, finally move on to the garage. So yeah, ton of work to do, but we'll go ahead and get started. So let's go ahead and get to work here. All right, up on the second floor, this is the uh, last like, main wall for this this uh, bedroom here. So this is kind of like the uh, divider between like the main bedroom, uh, bathroom, and then going down the stairs. Bring it over here. So let me show you here. So that's this is what we're working on is just uh, building this wall across there. That is done. This isn't a uh, a load bearing wall, so it can be a little bit lighter. It doesn't have to have these uh, big like headers or anything. So that's why you might see up there just a little two by fours going across and uh this one we fan up a little different because it's going to be a a barn door there so i couldn't make it like a, a regular door frame there but once it stands up we'll uh pack that out a little bit more some more lumber make that nice uh, square corner and probably have to put some more blocking up there for some uh, railing brackets to nail onto but yeah anyways uh that's done there we're going to lift this one up and uh hope it doesn't get caught in the rafters there when we lift it up but hey guys we'll give it a try um yeah let's uh, put put it up back outside on the ground i want to skip ahead and just uh not feeling it we got those inside walls done uh that wasn't too too uh impressed or anything and then also uh between this video and the last one we went and got the uh roof rafters put up there uh that wasn't too bad from doing it on the inside but now we are onto the outside here i want to get this side wall done here just so when the wind comes it's not going back and forth but um I don't have enough scaffold to go up there and I don't like ladders other guy doesn't like ladders or heights so what I did just went to the rental place and got this guy right here this one uh, I guess it goes up 34 feet uh, but yeah, this should be good enough we'll go up there and um, get that siding done there that's gonna also help us with putting the uh, roof ends on and the uh, fascia and soffit and get all that stuff done that we don't want to do with a ladder. So, uh, yeah, I hate heights, but I'm going to still get up there. And we're going to get the side of this house done. So, let's go ahead and get to work.
And next morning here, this machine here is definitely a, a huge time saver. Uh, glad I have this one instead of uh, getting some extra scaffold and putting it up there. Because I don't know, it must have been like 10 times faster to just use this machine instead of setting up scaffold and moving that along. But the uh, front of the house there is done. We got those last top pieces up there. I just cut the windows out. I uh, want to save that noisy part for first thing in the morning. And uh, yep, next thing to do is I'll get up there and continue with the uh, tape and tape up those seams there. And then uh, since the machine is already here on the front of the house, I'm going to get up there and start doing the back side, front side, and then the overhang on the front of the house here. So, um, yeah, I think it's going to go much quicker having this machine here. So I'll go ahead and get that taped up. And then uh, I'll get up there when I'm doing these sides here, get the camera back out and show you uh, that part there. So see you in a second. So we made pretty quick work with this lift here, uh, getting the uh, tape on there, getting those seams done, uh, cutting the windows out since we're up there. And then uh, on this this end board on the sides, I just did uh, two 10-foot uh, pieces and just get them up there so it's uh, easier. Cut out my overhang. And then uh, we had before, and those pieces there are for the sides up there. So I'm going to just put a couple little blocks on the end. I'll show you that part. Just so you can put up, I can put them up there and it'll hold itself up. And then I can go to each end, get those nailed, put my uh, supports in the middle there. And then, uh, since the machine is here, probably do fascia and soffit for under there. So then this, this uh, side of the house can be uh, completely done. And then uh, move around there, fascia, soffit, and then to the other side of the house where there's still a lot more work to do. So uh, before it gets too much hotter, let's go ahead and get to work. So back here up on the roof, uh, what we did here, I want to show you from up here. So you saw we got this side piece on, I uh, just put a couple extra boards on the end that kind of held it in place while I nailed it. And then uh, we cut out uh, two, two pieces of these rafters here. Uh, so you could put this two by four along there and I kind of like cantilever some of the weight. So uh, this weight on this one is going to be transferred over here. So that's going to make this super strong, uh, nice and rigid, it's not going anywhere. Uh, it's definitely important here with the uh, snow loads that we get and um, some of the uh, other things, I guess, uh, and also me being up here doing shingles. I don't want to fall down. But yeah, I've got those up here. I got those every four feet. So this is uh, basically done on this side, this overhang. What I'm going to do next, since the machine is set up here, like I said before, so I'm going to get the uh, fascia, put this on, put the soffit on, and then uh, be done with this side of the house. So, anyways. Time to head down, back to the ground, and get some more materials.
yeah, here on the back of the house. It's kind of getting really windy now, so that's why I decided to do this little video. But anyways, we're able to go ahead and we got this last uh, end piece on here. We got our overhanging supports put in there. Uh, this one is done there. We still got to get the uh, fascia on there and soft it. Uh, but that'll probably be for the next day when it's not so windy. Uh, you see here, we're able to get this uh, backside done here. Uh, window cut out. So this is uh, really coming along good here. They try to bring me down a little bit. Show you a little bit more what we have going on here. So that, see there, it is looking good there. Uh, so for front of the house there, we got that sheathed up. Uh, got this front board done along there. So yeah, really it's just uh, fascia and soffit for this one. And then down here on the roof, we gotta go ahead and still get the roof on this one. But uh, I was trying to focus more on this roof up here. I was hoping we might have time to get a few sheets of uh, sheathing on the top of this, but uh, with this wind and rain behind us, it's uh, not looking too good. Let me show you there. We've got a lot of thunder, lightning, uh, lots of wind. So yeah, that all is coming down the mountain, coming right for us. So I'm gonna get down out of this lift here. Uh, we'll get the tools cleaned up and probably head home a little bit early because uh, we don't want to be out in this thunder and lightning storm and it's uh, already starting to rain. So yeah, I'm gonna put the camera down. Hold on just a second. Well, back on the ground safely, out of the wind. The wind has picked up a lot. Hopefully you guys can hear me. It's kind of getting windy out here. But uh, yeah, it's out here. Uh, we got that uh, soffit done for there. We couldn't do the rest of it there. We had to wait till that overhang is done. But we'll get that fascia and soffit uh, afterwards, uh, like another day. And we had the um, lift set up here, but it couldn't reach. So we had to get the, uh, the skid steer and hook it up to that. And we towed it all the way around the house. And then uh, right here to the back of the house, and this is perfect because it can reach the whole side of the wall there. So that's been really easy and convenient. Really love that machine. I hate heights, but that thing makes it way better. This job is going 10 times faster having that lift, not having to use scaffold or ladders or anything uh, crazy like that. So really happy with that one. So let me go upstairs real quick. I'll show you kind of what it's looking like up there. And then uh, I'll probably end the video there. Yeah, come upstairs. It's really nice to have that covered off now, covered up, not looking outside. Going out here. This is part where going to go into the bathroom. There'll be a, a walk-in shower on the back there. Nice, uh, nice vanity along here. And then a uh, little glass door along there. And you can't see it here, it looks like a bunch of wood, but that's a little walk-in closet. The toilet going right there. And yeah, I've got this one all done up here. So that's looking real nice. Real happy with that. Glad we got that done today with the, the strong wind. Cause it's, uh, it'd be blowing this house around a little bit. All right guys, well, like I said, I think that's gonna do it for this video. The uh, rain is really starting to come down now. It's gonna, it's gonna start being strong real quick. It's already raining here. Then you kind of get how the rain. Uh, but yes, yeah. um, that's it for this one. Uh, we've got the whole outside wrapped up here. Uh, next one will be going up to the roof and getting the uh, OSB on there. And uh, really just getting this place all covered up and uh, kind of like dried in a little bit more. So when it rains like this. And then uh, after that, we've got a few more little uh, inside things to do. So we can uh, start doing the garage after that. Get that one done. And then uh, we can finally start putting some doors and windows in this and getting the outside finished. Get the plumbers and electricians here. So looking forward to that but anyway guys thank you so much for watching these videos all your comments and support really enjoy it you have some really helpful comments um some of the, your comments i've used on this build i'll show you those later but yeah really enjoy it and uh thank you so much for watching this one i'll see you right back here next weekend thanks everyone